This is one way to give your 3D models a vector graphic look. Hi, this is Leo, 3D artist at Goon Studios. Here I have three models from our upcoming game Boogie Boy. A red truck from the teaser, a blue car and a plant monster. So for most of the models in this game I used a special UV and texturing technique to get this vector graphic look. And what that means is graphics that never get pixelated no matter how much you zoom in. I like graphics uh, that comes out from Adobe Illustrator and maybe Flash. For example, for this plant guy here, you can see that it never gets pixelated no matter how much you zoom in. And here are the textures I used for the models. As you can see, simple color palette style textures. Thanks to the simplicity, I'm able to compress both of these textures to 32 by 32 pixels and even lower. To get this effect, I'm simply grabbing specific polygons on the model taking the UV of those polygons and mapping them onto the color palettes I want. The polygons are the colors in this method. To do this in Maya here, I select all the polygons that I want to put in a color square, go to the UV editor, polygon menu, and select split UV, and then put the polygons into the color palettes you want. But one thing to notice is this. This method requires the model to have certain topology like the shadow part of the pot here. So for all the models in this project, I had to think about this from the modeling phase, like adding some polygons and tweaking the topology here and there to get the shapes I want. For optimizing reasons, polygons are actually cheaper than textures. So if I can compress the texture really, really small, adding few polygons actually doesn't matter so much. I need to say that this effect can also be achieved using vertex colors. But I personally prefer to do it in this way because it's easier to do changes and fixes later. But one more reason is that it's easier to make a hybrid between normal texturing techniques. One example is this truck here. The logo on this truck is a simple plain polygon mapped on a drawing. But everything else on the model is mapped on the color palette like the two previous models. The texture looked like this. Thanks to this color palette method, I can use most of the texture space for the logo. Everything else on the model is crunched into the side space here. <laughs> and that's basically it. I hope you got an idea about how I got the book of the Boogie Boy models. Thanks for watching. I appreciate if you can subscribe to our channel. For computer people, there's a button in the top right corner. For smartphone people, the button's under the video, so make sure to hit that.